Welcome to the channel guys, welcome to the hair experience. Today we are going to talk about a, a common problem that we run into. Alright, welcome guys, you're back in my bathroom, you're going to say, Curtis, you got stuff all over your shirt. It's because it's hair redo day, it's just that easy. Um, MyHairExperience.com has got a lot of the FAQs, tutorials, uh, just tons of information. Find some good info, guys. There's some info there. YouTube uh, videos as well. My uh, HairByMHE.com has got all the products, supplies, ebooks, starter kits, styling products. Guys, we've got styling products for you now. So everything is on um, HairByMHE. Use that coupon code MHE20 to save 20% off of your stock hair replacement. All right, that pays the bills. What are you talking about today, Curtis? Yeah, that pays the bills so I can be here and do this for you guys. It's, it's important to me to be able to make these videos and to be able to do this full time and actually get good information because this is what I do all day. So anyways, you don't have your hair on your head, Curtis, and, and today's video is going to explain why. So a common misconception in this industry is that you cannot tape a th ultra thin skin or a new generation or whatever. Our unit, you can tape. Tape makes the back and sides, like from here, now you, my head's irritated, I just washed it and did an exfoliant so it's nice and clean. So tape you can do, I do from here all the way around. I do me a piece of tape here and another piece of tape back here. Just makes the cleanup easier, it's less product, less chemical on my head, which is important to me. Um, I, tape seems more secure. You don't have to redo it all that often. You don't have to redo it at all until you're ready for a full redo. And my unit's been on like two weeks and four days. So in the winter time, I usually let it go two and a half, three weeks, depending on my activity level and how the weather is. But during the summer, I stick to two weeks. So I could be a little bit lazy during the winter time. So I'm going to show you guys Let's start a little bit. Let's go the other way. When you're applying tape, okay, and that tape is brand spanking new, okay, and you either put it on your scalp or put it on the unit, and you want to take it off. You 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 fumbled up. You you put something in the wrong spot. Something folded. Something happened. Do not just go ripping the tape back off. You this video is made really for the guys that are running into tearing a unit when they're taking this tape off, okay? That's the real general purpose of the video. Because I don't want you to guys to tear your units. I don't want you to be without. I, I want you to get good longevity out of a unit, and tearing a unit obviously is going to be so destructive that it's gonna be not usable. So, I mean, a tear like that you can deal with, but if you get a big massive tear, you're done. So, if you get the tape on there immediately, you, you it's stuck okay and you're not going to get it off you're not just gonna don't don't go pulling it off it's just a bad idea so what you're gonna want to do is there's a couple of different things that you can do you can either get um you can get isopropyl alcohol like this is what comes in the starter kit i use the same exact thing 91 percent isopropyl alcohol and what i have a little spray bottle that i keep just some little junky thing from walmart just a little spray bottle and i keep isopropyl alcohol in it in case of this situation and also another reason but um if you get it on there let's say and you need to get it off off your skin you can take it off it's it's not going to feel the greatest but you can take it off if it gets on the unit you're going to want to spray this onto the unit um where the tape meets the unit and then spray at that edge and just slowly work your way off you always want to work your way towards the outside of the unit you don't want to go in a downward fashion because if you go in a downward fashion it could tear the unit you don't want to do that you want to go from the middle out okay the middle to the edges you don't you don't want to run into this little nick you know what i mean that's that's going to turn into this massive tear because you 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 pulled on it you don't want that to happen so go from the middle out with your tape so you're going to spray this on there and then slowly just roll it off most of this guys is lack of patience I can tell you straight up because I'm the most impatient person on the planet. Everything I do has to be in a hurry. I don't know why, but that's just the case, and it's the truth. And I'm a, cre uh, a terrible habit of, of mine. It is. 
So if you do that and you put a little isopropyl, don't, don't douse the unit. It's bad for the hair. It's bad for the polyurethane. It'll dry it out. Just get a little bit on there and just work its way off. You're only probably going to be dealing with one piece that you made a mistake with anyways. So you can fix that that way. Now I'm going to move the camera and I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys. Um, you're in my bathroom about as rude as it gets. My normal stuff is here on my countertop. Um, but I'm going to show you how to get this tape off. You're not going to be able to see me because I'm going to move the camera down, but I want you guys to know that I have used my adhesive remover, okay, and I sprayed my unit down the minute I took it off. I laid it on my counter in, in, in my bathroom here. It's been sitting on my, my uh, countertop here, and I sprayed it down with probably seven or eight pumps of, of this product, my adhesive remover. Um, and I let it sit while I was cleaning my scalp, getting all the glue and doing my exfoliating and all that stuff. I let that product sit on there. Another thing, guys, do not, do not, do not, do not use any um, petroleum-based cleaners that are available on the market on my units or probably on anybody's units that really care about their product. And the reason being is they are super fragile. Um, petroleum-based products, and I'm not talking about petroleum-based like Vaseline, I'm talking about petroleum-based carbon-based cleaners that will, they'll probably take the chrome off a trailer ball. They would get the tape and the glue and everything off your head in probably one, one swipe. That's not what we're going for here, guys. That is very destructive on a quality hair unit. It's not a good idea. So don't use petroleum-based products. If they smell like turpentine or kerosene or something like that it's not the product to be used any cleaner that you see from me c22 walker's brand as well um, is a citrus based product it's an oil based product it's not petroleum based so uh, all natural ingredients so that's <laughs> you don't want petroleum based products anyways we're going to get on to it so i'm going to move the camera all right so now you guys can see, all right, I'm thinning up, you know what I mean? I gotta stay thin, thin and trim. So what I do is I get my paper towels, I get a couple of them, and I just kind of fold. And what you're doing here is you're getting a pad, something that you can hold, okay? And then I take it, now that I've got, you can see the product here is like running off because I sprayed so much of it. So what I'm doing here is all I'm trying to do is work my way from the inside out, okay? Inside out. And I'm trying to dry the top of the tape so it starts rolling up. So I'll roll this this in this fashion. Now you're you're holding good you're holding good stability on the unit. You don't want all this flapping around and all this other crazy stuff. Good stable, you're holding it from underneath and at the top. And I'm only working in this small area right here. Okay, so I'm going to roll that. Now I've got it started. Okay, now I can see where it started. I slowly pull, just like this, away from the unit. And then I, I've got my paper towels. I usually have them laid out right here. I didn't do it today. But I have my paper towels. I lay them out, and then I take what I've got on my finger, and I rub it on the paper towel. Today it doesn't want to do it. And it sticks to the paper towel and now it's off of my hand it's not on your counter and you don't have to worry about that one now you go to the next one now you can see here all right it's it's totally laid flat so what i do is i take and make sure that it's not wet you want to make sure you got a dry corner okay so i'll start pushing away from the middle Let me see if i can get better in the camera for you pushing away from the middle holding good um i, I don't even know the word to put there um Making sure that you're holding the un the unit itself snug and it's not you're not over here working. You're right where your hand is. Okay, so I'm drying that tape up. All right, so now I've got a corner started. All I'm going to do is grab that corner and pull it slowly away from the middle towards the outside. Boom. How, how, how could you tear this? You know what I mean? If you do it this way, you're not going to tear it. We're gonna do one more, then we're gonna call it good. We'll go over here. So now I gotta to switch to my right hand. I can see where my tape begins right here. All right, you see how I'm holding the unit snug? I've got my corner up. Boom, tape's gone. 
That's all you gotta do. So that's what that's what I got today, guys. Let the adhesive remover do its job. That that is uber uber important that you let it break through that tape and it actually breaks the bond down and do not go fast do not go um if you see a little nick or something cut that little nick out if you can because it's kind of like it's going to want to run that nick will run into a tear so that's what i got today guys i hope that information helps subscribe below hit that thumbs up button boom 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 if you like my content and we'll see you in a couple of days. Thanks.